Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Jamaicans.com. Welcome to my temple wellness. My name is Deborah Johnson, and I'm here with you this evening to talk about nutrition. Now, March is National Nutrition uh, Awareness Month, and so that's why I'm going to be uh, talking to you today specifically about the topic that is that says "Eat Right, Bite by Bite." That is the topic of our show for today, and so. I'm excited that you are here. I want you to share where you are watching from. So let me know where you are. I am in the Bronx. I'm in New York in the United States. Are you in Jamaica? Where are you? Let me know where you are watching from. And I also would love for you to share this video as well. So share it on your page. We're gonna be talking about nutrition, what you should be eating. And so I think today's going to be a very important day. It's really the basics of what you need to know, right? So if you've ever been wondering like, what should I be eating? Why should I be eating these particular foods? We're gonna get right into that today. We're only gonna be here for uh, half an hour. So it's gonna be a short show pretty quick, I think, um, half an hour. Usually I go for an hour, <laughs> but today it's gonna be half an hour. Usually it's gonna be always half an hour, all right? So yeah, so please let us know where you are watching from. I'm gonna turn on the comments to see if anybody is sharing. Uh, Zurich, Switzerland, wow, hello, Bishop, uh, Bishop P. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna attempt to pronounce that last name there. Um, Bishop P, while you are here, I did see your note on asking about liver, if we're gonna cover the liver. So I am gonna actually cover the liver. So if you stay tuned in April, I'll definitely be doing a show on liver. So thank you for tuning in. Um, really excited to have you guys all here again. Uh, let me know where you are watching me from so that I can big up your place, right? We just big up uh, Bishop P from Zurich. Um, where are you guys? What are you guys doing? <laughs> How was your weekend also, right? How was your weekend? What did you guys do? Did you do anything fun? All right, guys. So we're going to get right in here. I don't see any more comments coming in right now. So during the month of March, I really want to encourage you guys, want to invite you to get informed about the foods that you're eating, develop healthy habits. And that's why this month is so important for nutrition. And that's why I'm doing this show today called Eat Right um, Bite by Bite is because this is the month for us to you know, really get back into our fitness and get back into taking care of our, our temples and what we're eating. Um, hence my brand. Well, it's on this side, <laughs> my temple wellness. All right, guys, I know the year started out and a lot of us were in the gyms or working out at home. And then of course, life has been happening. So it's been you know, somewhat of a challenge for us to really maintain that um, the plans that we've made. So this class is going to be great for you to you know, sort of jumpstart again um, and get yourself going. All right, so if you're just coming on, uh, my name is Deborah Johnson. As I said before, I'm a plant-based nutritionist and uh, my brand is called My Temple Wellness and I focus on you know, educating folks. That's really what I do nutrition, all types of wellness um, topics we we cover. Um, and I'm here on Jamaicans.com on Mondays um, at 5 p.m. Uh, and so I want to remind you that the body is a temple. That is my message that I'm always sharing. Uh, and, you know, of course, I want you to follow me on all the social media sites, but also know that I have a website where you can go and see a little bit more about what it is that I do. I see a couple more comments. I'm going to go and say hi to a few of you guys here. Kerrick in the building from the Bronx, Boogie Down. Uh, Jamaicans, like, yes, I'm back. Midday, yeah. <laughs> <I'm> come back. <laughs> uh, Miss Yvonne Morgan, good evening from St. Louis, Missouri. Hail up, St. Louis. Wow, big up yourself. Simone. Uh, she's coming from Pennsylvania. Bless up, bless up, bless up from Pennsylvania, Miss Simone. Uh, we've got um, GE, Miss Pansy from uh, Delaware. And then we got Sophia, one of my friends, a big, big, good, good friend. <laughs> um, good evening, my friend. Um, bless up, glad, glad to have you here. And then uh, let's see how I can, Algenia. I hope I'm saying that right, Algenia from Texas. Dallas, Fort Worth, Atlanta, International Women Week in my book. <laughs> you did some dancing with family this week. That's amazing. I love that. Um, yeah, so Texas, how are you guys doing down in Texas, right? There was so many, um, uh, the weather was adverse down there. So how are you guys holding up, Miss Algina? Um, 
Oh my goodness, one of my good friends is here. Tony Kelly, I wondered what happened to you as could not locate your program. Is it on at an earlier time? Yes, sir. So I know you're in London and this is, you've been tuning into my show since season one. We're on season three and I did take some time off. I was studying. I was able to get um, quite a few uh, certifications done and a few pending right now. So I'm excited that um, you're here, uh, Mr. Tony Kelly. So thank you for coming. I'm going to be on at five o'clock on Mondays. So that's why you probably didn't see me. Actually, no, I just came back. So <laughs> you wouldn't have seen me, but five o'clock Mondays going forward, I'm going to be here. Slightly different format. As you can see, I'm sitting down, like I said last week, taking a load off and just really um, trying to educate you guys, um, you know, give you all some, some good information. And so this is going to be somewhat of a PowerPoint presentation. I want you guys to talk to me. Again, share this video, let people know that we are here, but talk to me while you're here, put your comments in, all right? And I'll try to answer your questions as we go or towards the end, I'll try to get through all your questions. I'm gonna jump right into the, the PowerPoint. Thank you, Miss Sharon, welcome back. Yes, we come back, <laughs> came back for more. Um, and I'm glad you guys are back too with me because I need you guys. I need you guys here to talk to me, to tell me what you want to hear, tell me, um, you know, what programs you want me to focus on um, so I can help with your, your nutrition education. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the, the presentation right now. Um, uh, one last one. <laughs> Mildred, she's watching from Florida. Florida in the house, everybody. <laughs> So excited to have you guys um, here with us, all right? So like I said before, this is Eat Right uh, Bite by Bite. This is our topic for today. We're gonna jump right into my PowerPoint, all right? So I'm gonna go off to the side just a little bit. I'm gonna become a little bit smaller, but I'm still here, all right? Don't run away, I'm still here, all right? So I'm gonna share my, my screen with you guys right now. And we are going to talk about March being Nutrition Month. Let me make this just a little bit bigger. All right, there you go. See, I'm just right down there, smaller, but I'm still here. All right, so Eat Right, Bite, Bite, Bite is the name of our uh, topic for today. And as I said before, March is National Nutrition Month. And so we are excited. I'm excited to really come to you on Jamaicans.com and also on my Temple Wellness to really share with you guys this information. It's very important. So first things first, why is nutrition important? It's important for a myriad of reasons, but here are some of them, right? Cognitive function, our brain, our eyes need we need to make sure that we're eating the right foods so that our bodies can function well. And all these different things that our body is having to do, our heart that needs to beat, right? That's our cardiovascular health. That's important um, towards nutrition. Our, our heart is important so that we can function and we can stay alive, really. <laughs> um, immune health, right? Um, right now, immunity is it's always important, but right now folks are really paying attention to, you know, their immune system and making sure that they're they're functioning well. Zinc, we've heard a lot about zinc recently and vitamin D, right? Because if we don't have those foods in our body, the right minerals, our bodies are not going to function, obviously for bone health. So we're eating and nutrition is important because our body just requires nutrition, proper nutrition that is, right? Uh, and so nutrients for our health, let's talk about it, right? What are nutrients? Nutrients contain the raw materials that our body need to make substances, um, to, to make new substances and function properly. So when you're ingesting whatever food you're ingesting, if it's not nutrient rich, if it's not proper for your body, you're not going to function well. All right. So when we take the food and we are then digesting it, it's broken down and then it goes through our bloodstream and we utilize it so that we can we can run, we can, we can, um, you know, our brains can work well, we can talk, all these different things. We can digest our nutrients are essential for all of that. Now, um, macronutrients are the the things we need in large portions. So they are falling in these categories, carbohydrates, fats, and protein. Uh, and these are the things that we're eating. And so we're going to go a little bit in detail. Um, as I go further, I'll talk a little bit more about each of these, but these are the large macro because we need large portions of these. All right. And we'll talk about how much you need very shortly. All right. Then, uh, yeah, so let's talk about that right now, actually. So for when it comes to fats, right, fats for every gram of uh, calorie that you're eating, nine calories can be found in one gram. All right. So 
something to keep in mind are the different portions, right? So protein, carbohydrates, and fats, you need different portions of each. And we'll go a little bit more into that as we go. But you know, you see the photo at the bottom here, um, not all these food have the same calories in it, right? So different food carry different calories. And the foods that I want to really focus on with you guys, as I've always been focusing on plant-based, um, are the foods that are more plant-based foods, all right? Uh, and so that's what it is. We need to uh, manage the amount of foods that we're eating, not too much protein, right? Because we do actually don't need a lot of protein. We need a lot more carbohydrates, but the good form of carbo carbohydrates, all right? Like plant carbohydrates, all right? And a very small amount of fat. But again, I'm going to give you a little bit more into that as we go. Then we also need what's called micronutrients. So remember macro, the large amounts, micro, small, right? So vitamins and minerals, and we need these vitamins and minerals, like I mentioned before, like zinc and iron and vitamin D for different reasons. When it comes to iron, for example, and I like talking about iron because a lot of us um, are anemic. Some I've been anemic. And so I like to talk about it because of my own personal experience, my own lived experience with, with that. So if you have a deficiency in iron, your red blood cells are not being um, properly formed and also you know, you end up having this deficiency, which cause a lot of issues in the body, headaches, uh, rapid heartbeat. And of course, just with anemia, if you're thinking about getting pregnant or if you are pregnant, you know, those are some of the things that can actually um, have adverse effects to your birth, um, to your to your um, your baby. All right. And to you as well. So you want to make sure that things like iron you have um, and and the point that I want to make with this particular um, vitamins and minerals that they are essential vitamins and minerals that our bodies are not able to make, right? So if you're not able to make it in your body, that means you have to ingest it through your food, all right? So vitamin D, um, calcium, these are things that we have to ingest through our food. And so they come in different forms. And so you have to identify the nutrients found in these particular foods, all right? Um, now let's talk a little bit about simple and complex carbohydrates. As you could see here, you have the simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. When you think about the complex, um, car let's talk first about the simple carbohydrates, right? So simple carbohydrates are things like, as you saw on the slide, you're getting the white bread, white pasta, white flour, right? Those are some of those simple carbohydrates, um, sugary foods, um, donuts and candy and all of that stuff. Those are simple. What happens with those is that when you ingest that, when you eat that for a snack or whatever it is, it gets into your bloodstream really, really quickly. So you find yourself with a lot of energy because carbohydrates is uh, providing energy for us, right? That is where we get our energy from when we eat carbohydrates. So if you're eating carbohydrates that are simple, like the sugary foods, like the cereal in the morning, like the donuts or even pancakes, you're going to feel really excited and really energetic at first, but give it a little bit of time and then you're going to actually crash, right? Also, it's spiking your blood sugar. So you're having this rise and fall of your blood sugar if you're eating these simple carbohydrates. If you're having the complex carbohydrates, um, as you saw before, kale, collard greens, um, cabbage, all of those um, delicious foods, yams, um, some of the uh, sweet potatoes and things like that, carrots, those are complex. And so what happens with complex carbohydrates it takes a lot longer for the body to actually digest it. So it moves through your system a lot slower. And so it's a slow release of the energy, right? So you're, you're sustained, you're having sustained energy. I'm going to show you something. It's going to look a little gross. Don't judge me. <laughs> We're friends here, guys. Don't judge. All right. So this was my smoothie that I had. And I kept this, um, you know, listen, I just I just had some <laughs> earlier. I just finished it. So this is my smoothie that I had. It had oats in it. I had a lot of um, nuts and seeds and fruits. I had banana in there. And that had the carbohydrates that I need. It had some fat because I put a little bit of peanut butter in there. It had all the essential um, nutrients that I needed for a complete meal. Right. And so we'll talk about complete meal in a, in a second. But you want to make sure that you're ingesting things like that. The complex carb in this meal would be the oats. OK. And the banana and the strawberries and because fruits and so forth are also um, are also carbohydrates. All right. So I just wanted to bring point that out to you guys that you want to focus on the complex carbs. Try to minimize the simple carbs in your diet because complex carbs is really what's going to keep you nice and strong and healthy. All right. Now, proteins, proteins are uh, needed in the body. They help to 
um, build our tissues and to really keep us nice and strong is great for muscles. Uh, as you can see here, I have a, a variety of protein. You guys know I'm not pushing meat. I'm actually putting this on the screen because I want to identify that these are sources of protein, but we have some of these proteins that are better for you. When you think about the red meat, that's um, not really something you wanna ingest a lot of because it's really been causing a lot of issues for a very long time with heart disease, high cholesterol and so forth. So red meat is being implicated in a lot of different illnesses, even cancer. All right, so you wanna focus more on plant-based proteins as you could see here, the red kidney beans, um, even things like quinoa is good, split peas, lentils, black beans, all of that's really great. And then, okay, some fish here and there and, and a little chicken, all right? And make sure that everything is organic, um, and farm, not farm raised, right? So you're having things that are really good for your body. So the proteins you need, uh, again, not a lot of protein. We don't need that much. And I'll show you exactly how much you need very shortly as we go on here. Uh, and I wanna point out to you guys, especially to the men that are watching, to all the guys that are watching that are like, concerned about, you know, you should be eating red meat to be strong. And if you don't eat red meat, you're not going to be able to get muscle because you need protein for your muscle. These animals that you're looking at on the screen, these huge, the gorilla, the elephants, right? Giraffe, all these animals, as you can see, tie out to grass. <laughs> like when I was growing up and I, I lived on a farm and when living on a farm, um, you really get to see what animals are eating. Now we have cows and my brother was responsible for the cows. So he would take, we had some land. So my brother would walk, take all the cows, <laughs> tie them out, put them in, you know, a certain area and all they would eat with grass was grass. Now every now and then, you know, my dad would give them some Purina or something like, I think it was called Purina, but that's what they would have every now and then. But it was pretty much grass, right? So large animals like cows, like all the ones that you see on the screen, and I'll go back, these all these animals all are plant eaters, all right? So we can eat plant-based protein and still function. We just have to have a variety, right? We just have to have a variety of, of um, beans and nuts and seeds and all of that, right? In order for us to um, maintain our, our health nice and strong. Um, the other thing that we require, so we just spoke about carbohydrates, proteins, and now we're gonna talk a bit about fats. Um, because again, guys, six essential nutrients that we need carbohydrates, proteins, fats, um, vi uh, vitamins, minerals, uh, and water. All right. So we're touching on the big, the big ones here. I want to show you guys this slide specifically, and I stole it from the American Heart Association, <laughs> but basically to show you um, the love it foods, the foods that you should continue to enjoy, the limit, the fats that you should limit in your diet and the ones that you should really lose as in get rid of, as in stop eating those, right? Um, or if you are having it, have it only on occasion, meaning like once a year. So the love it, love it fats, right, that you should consume are avocado, uh, avocados. You can have that. That's a great, um, you know, fat to have, right? It's, it's really a good, healthy fat that I want to encourage you to enjoy. I used to call it here in Jamaica. And uh, olive oil, right? So if you're using olive oil, a small amount of olive, olive oil, obviously if you have any heart condition, um, you want to consider that. And I didn't do my disclaimer in the beginning, but just know that this information that I'm providing for you here today is strictly for informational purposes, right? So if you have any concerns or issues, you want to speak to your doctor. So I'll, I'll say that now. So yeah, these are unsaturated fats, guys, all right? And the unsaturated fats are poly uh, and monounsaturated fats, all right? And so these fats are the fats that are healthier for us. They're gonna lower your risk of cardiovascular or heart disease. Uh, and it's really um, beneficial for our diet because again, we need fats, right? That's not something we should avoid. We need them. It's just the right kind and the right quantity that we need, all right? We wanna limit things like heavy cream and butters. Those are the things you wanna try to minimize in your diet, right? Really limit those. And then what we wanna lose are the artificial trans fats that are found in processed foods, hydrogenated oils, right? Palm oils, coconut oil is listed there. And I know a lot of people are probably like, coconut oil? Yes, because the thing is, the oil at room temperature, right? Like olive oil and avocado oil, they're, they're liquid at room temperature. But things like coconut oil, they're solid at room temperature. And so that's somewhat translate into what is happening in your body as well. So avocado, I mean, I'm sorry, coconut oil is like debatable because a lot of people um, might debate that one. 
but I want to really give you the facts here today and, and, and help you to make an informed decision. All right. So these are the facts. Avoid the um, saturated fats and obviously trans fats, which has been banned, uh, and really focus on the loved fats. All right. So we're winding down here. So again, we did, as I was saying, I want to share with you that uh, the quantity, right? So quantity is important. Um, the use your hand, right? So this is what I tend to do with folks because I think this is the best way for us to um, remember, right? Um, and so if you have your palm, right, you are thinking this is this is about. Um, I'm sorry, the palm is for the protein, right? So if you're thinking of how much meat you should be having, it's about the the size of your palm. And if you think back on way back in the days, right, with with folks who were living, you know, on the land, they didn't really have access to all that meat, right? Now we do because we have more money and we can buy, you know, a big piece of steak and a big piece, you know, rack of lamb and all of that stuff, a whole chicken. Um, but really, you should be consuming uh, at each sitting just about a palm size of, of protein. All right. When it comes to the carbohydrates, about a fistful, right? So if you're having, let's say, a starchy carb like um, you know, um, sweet potato or something like that. You can have a, a piece of sweet potato about this size, I'm a little ashy. Um, and then you can also have another fistful of kale or what have you. Now you can have an abundance of abundance of kale and abundance of um, you know, vegetables and greens uh, at any portion. So I would never tell you just only eat a cup of you know greens. Eat as much greens as you want, but as far as like the carbohydrates that are starchy, I would only say uh, sort of like a fistful of that. All right. And when it comes to the fat, thumb, about a thumb amount, right? So just your thumb, right? And with that, that's things like peanut butter and so forth. If you're going to have avocado, you can have a half of avocado and you'll be fine. All right. So really, um, you know, a thumb for, for that. And teaspoon of, not a teaspoon rather, I'm sorry, just a, a small bit of fingertip right? So just a very small amount of, um, you know, oil. So if you're cooking with oil, let's say using a tablespoon or two, uh, and that's for your whole family, that's okay, right? So you don't want to just keep pouring on oil, pouring on oil, because, you know, they did say the Mediterranean diet is like the best diet, but there we still need to, um, and I don't co-sign that, by the way, um, because too much oil, either way, is still not good for your body, all right? Oil, especially if you have any heart concerns. Um, now let's talk a little bit about why we eat <laughs> as we're winding down. I'll go through this one real quickly. Um, guys, so majority of the population, 1%, I don't know if you can see right here, this tiny little box right here, only 1% of people are eating because they are actually hungry. 25% are eating even if they're not hungry and, and it's mealtime. So let's say, okay, six, seven o'clock come and you're like, I'm hungry. Even if you had a large lunch and you're still full, people still eat because it's just mealtime right? And that's 25% of the population. Uh, and also they're working on something and it just sucks and they're just annoyed. And so they go grab something and they're just stuffing their faces with chips. I mean, we're all guilty. I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not perfect. I, I'm a nutritionist. I make a lot of mistakes and I, and I still eat a bunch of junk every now and then, but I try to limit it. I'll show you guys my cashews. You can't really see here. These are cashews that I have that I keep at my desk, right? So I keep cashews at my desk or um, pumpkin seeds, or um, I have a, a whole thing, a, a cabinet full of nuts and seeds and stuff like that. And of course, I always have my water and you guys know I always have my tea. So keep things near you and that will actually prevent you from doing, you know, um, going and getting these things um, that you're just having because you are, you know, you're annoyed and you're just like, I just want to eat something because I'm annoyed that's an emotional way of eating. All right. And also we're eating because it's delicious. I love to eat things that are delicious. <laughs> um, and that's something that I try to share on my channel. So if you guys follow me on, on my page, you'll see, I try to make some delicious food that are plant-based that are good for you. Uh, and it can be, you know, healthy food can be delicious. Right? A lot of times we think healthy food tastes like cardboard or it's just not, you know, it's just not tasty. So, but you can get creative and really put a lot of flavor into your food and time and really, you know, um, make great meals. All right, guys. So be encouraged about that. All right. So that's one of the reasons people eat and also because they deserve it. You know, so you fasted the whole week or you did really well the whole week and here comes the weekend. Listen, me deserves me deserve to eat a whole book at the ice cream here. Now, I'm not saying <laughs> I'm not saying you don't deserve it, but 
when you know what it's doing to your body, and that's why I want to educate you, when you know what it's doing to your body, you might think twice and you might just take a very small amount, satisfy that taste, that craving, and keep it moving. And we'll talk about why we crave food, certain foods as well. I'll do that some other time, but that's another thing. When we crave foods, um, there's a reason we're craving certain foods like sugar and salt. All right. And of course, 15% says they're eating because they're tired and they're just grumpy or whatever. Um, and then here are some of the factors that affect our choices. So we are choosing foods based on what we like, what we don't like, what's available in our neighborhoods, right? I don't live in Jamaica anymore, so I don't have access to climb the tangerine tree and sit down in the tangerine tree and eat like 10 tangerine. I don't have that food availability anymore. I have to actually get in my car or walk down to the supermarket and purchase a bag. So if you live in a tropical climate and you have access to all these beautiful fruits and vegetables, that's a wonderful thing. Um, but we also have the opposite side of that where folks are living in communities where there's a food desert, there's no supermarket nearby, and that's a real issue. Especially in some black and brown communities, um, you find that real issue of food availability. Money, of course, income. So income might not be there. You might not have enough to be able to buy certain types of food because healthy food, for some reason, is really expensive and it shouldn't be that way. Time. A lot of us are working and we just don't have the time to prepare, you know, a good healthy meal. So that affects our choices that we're making and our work schedules. A lot of people complain about their work schedules. Um, and of course, emotion. We talked about that before. So if somebody break up with you and you or whatever it is you're experiencing, but forget about that. Right now during COVID, uh, the pandemic, people are just eating. We all are eating, right? We're getting the quarantine, 10, extra 10 pound, extra 15 pound, because we are dealing with a lot of different emotion, fear, worry, you know, anxiety, all of that, right? So we're eating for these different reasons. Um, and then some people, their cooking skills might not be that great, um, or they just don't know how to cook, which is fine. Um, it's just a matter of finding a place that's going to provide you good, healthy food options, right? And of course, family traditions, which is huge because you're inheriting these recipes. But I've said many times on my shows before, when you inherit these recipes, you're inheriting the disease that those family members might have had as well. So you have to be mindful when you're making these um, decisions about what you're eating because your family traditions. If your entire generation had diabetes and you're taking those same recipes to prepare food for you and your family, there's a good chance that you might um, in inherit those diseases as well. All right, guys. So that's really what I wanted to point out. And then when it comes to the healthy plate, I want you to focus on, you know, having water. A lot of times they say that, um, yeah, a lot of times we speak about having um, milk as a part of our healthy plate. I want to focus and the only thing I'll say this slide is water. You want to substitute that dairy for water, okay, because water is super important. Half of your plate, guys, should be vegetables, should be fruits. Um, and, of course, you have your whole grains, which are in its whole form avoiding the white rice and all of that. And of course, your healthy protein. Now I'm going to leave with you these last minute tips here. Half of your plate should um, should contain, um, so let's go over them really quickly. So half of your plate should contain a mixture of fruits and vegetables. All right. Your vegetables uh, should be served, I would say crunchy, right? So not as much cooking to each of those, uh, whatever vegetable you're preparing, if you could have it raw would be better. And get your protein from a variety of sources, right? So not just meat, veg um, 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 vegetables also have protein. And I think I said that as well. So protein you can get and carbohydrates also from, um, from plants. All right. Avoid meats that are, uh, have added hormones and antibiotics, right? Try to buy organic um, if you can, right? That would be the ideal. And then avoid sugary foods instead of sodas. Try water and add fruits like slice a lemon or orange to your plate, I mean, to your <laughs> liquid, to your water, which will help, okay? Avoid refined sugars such as corn syrup and cornstarch um, and try to have more natural sugars um, because you're gonna increase your chance of having diabetes if you're consuming a lot of sugar. Eat whole grains, right? So we talked about that before. So iron, magnesium, you wanna get those um, minerals and vitamins from the foods that you're eating uh, and that can be found in whole grains. These are the last few here. Buy fresh, avoid processed foods. I can't say that enough. Packaged foods, you know, they're not really food, right? Let's just be real. The packaged food is not food, all right? It's make-believe food and it's not good for your body. And of course, monitor your portion. So you're not eating too much. Um, it's recommended 18 
hundred to twenty four calories, twenty four hundred calories um, daily per person, but it varies. And if you want a, a way to calculate exactly how much calories you need, please put a comment in um, you know this um, down here somewhere. <laughs> Leave me the comment, and I will give you the link on where you can find out about you know how much calories. And of course, try new foods, guys. I cannot um, emphasize that enough try new foods. I'm going to check to see if I have any questions or comments. Guys, follow me on My Temple Wellness, all right, um, so you can get a little bit more um, tips. I'm going to go over the questions, see if there's anything in there um, from you guys right now. So yeah, follow My Temple Wellness on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to share this video. We can stay on for a few minutes here. Um, Okay, so um, this person here says, I wouldn't wish any woman to go through what I've been through in my life and marriage. My husband and I left. Um, okay, I will I will read this and I will get back to you. Um, I can't see a name there. It says testimonial. So I'll, I'll come back to that. All right. Um, okay, let's get through some of these comments here. So London in the house. Miss LV Sunshine London. All right, we're gonna spend a few more minutes on here. Uh, great information. Uh, glad I came across this video. Awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, yeah, guys, I'm here for you. So you know, this is what I love to do. Um, great information from J Jamaican vlogs. Artist, artistly island girl. <laughs> Hard to see island girl. I'm saying that right. Carrick says portion control. Exactly. So true. Hey, Deb, welcome back. What about salad dressing? Okay, so when it comes to salad dressing, I recommend, if you can, make your own. And maybe one of my shows, I'll just do different types of salad dressings. Let me know if you want that, Michelle, because I make my own salad dressings, and they're very easy. And I could give you a simple recipe right now. So lemon, whisk together with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, right, uh, and a little olive oil, and you sprinkle that on your salad. That's a simple salad dressing. Also, what I do sometimes, I'll have the balsamic, um, you know, vinegar, vinaigrette, but it's not vinaigrette because I didn't really add anything, but just balsamic vinegar. And I'll sprinkle that with a little bit of salt and pepper, you know, and I'm good, right? The salad dressings that you're buying in the stores, they have a lot of um, things that you do not want. So they have oils, they have sometimes sugar, and that's really bad for your body. Um, so I strongly always recommend folks to try to make their own at home. Um, I think it would be much more beneficial for your health. Uh, and so if you say, I don't know if I'm overeating nuts. Yeah. So good, 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 um, good point. So what you want to do guys, and I, these are on my desk for a couple of days at a time. You want to just get a handful of nuts, right? Um, if you have any heart, heart issues, you want to consult your doctor before you do that though, because nuts have fat in them, right? Nuts are good for you, but you don't want to eat too much. So if you were to eat like this entire container, that's not good for your body. You want to have just a handful and that's daily, right? So a handful of nuts and a variety. My favorite one to recommend is walnuts. Walnuts are amazing. All right. So if you're looking for a good, healthy um, nut to have, try the walnuts. I mix it up. So sometimes I'll have um, some walnuts with some cashews and some peanut. So mix it up, guys. All right. Great question, Sophia. Um, uh, let's see what else here. Plain water versus flavored water. OK. Yeah. I mean, it's if you a lot of people do not like water. I, I have a friend who just, just refuses to drink water. <laughs> so when I recommend, you know, adding some fruit flavors to it. That's because I know there's a huge portion of the population that just does not drink water. They don't want to drink water. They say it don't taste good. It doesn't have any taste. So when you add a little bit, um, add a little um, flavor to it, sometimes it actually helps, right? Um, or just having a, a, a jar of tea, right? With lemon or something like that. Um, you guys know I'm always doing my tea and my water. Eventually, if you drink enough of it, um, you'll actually start loving water, to be honest, right? Um, canned veggies from Michelle said canned veggies or fruit can ve Okay. So you're saying, should you be having, so I will say this guys, when it comes to canned food, um, there's what's called BPA found in a lot of the linings of the can, which is a, a um, a chemical and we don't want to ingest chemicals, right? Why would we? <laughs> because then the liver has to deal with that. Remember we talked about the kidney is filtering things out of our body. So the more crap 
for lack of a better word, we put in our body, the more our system has to work, the harder it has to work to get rid of these things. So when it comes to these canned foods and um, canned veggies and canned fruits, you know, they may be cheaper, but it's not going to be your body. If you must get cans, try to find BPA-free cans, right? So can lining is going to be BPA-free. Um, and every now and then having canned food is not the worst, right? It's not going to be the end of the world. But what I try to do, I have, um, you know, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. Um, if you go to a farmer's market, sometimes the prices are cheaper. Uh, I don't know if you're asking that question because of price or convenience. You can let me know and I'll follow up um, with my response on that. Um, please put up calorie link. Yes, I will do that. I will make a note to get you guys a calorie link so you can then go and have a look, right? And find out how much calories you need for your body. You put in your weight, you put in your height, and then it tells you sort of the estimate for you. All right. And it also gives you some more detail. All right. So I'll send you a really good one that I like to use. All right. Great information, Michelle. Oh, of course, it's my pleasure. Me love or no. <laughs> Jennifer Bennett, what about grapeseed oil? Another good recommendation. Grapeseed oil is actually not that bad. Um, so I, I have used grapeseed oil. A lot of times now I use avocado oil. All right. But grapeseed oil is actually not a bad option as well for frying because it can take the height. Um, and Yvonne Morgan said, I love the information. Anything for health? Of course. All right, guys. So last one, I'm going to get out of here right now. Um, we have the whole hour, but I schedule these classes for half an hour um, because I want to really educate you, give you a you know, compact amount of information and then have this type of dialogue. So technically, I don't want to go on for an hour, though. <laughs> I want you guys to get on, get your information and go on with your life. All right. Sophia says, I do love I do lots of walnuts and cashews. Um, as they are so filling. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. Yes. That is exactly why I keep this on my desk because I'll be sitting here and I'm working from home. Right. So I'll be sitting in my office and I'm just like going about my day. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I'll start thinking about some unhealthy food. Now it's not that I don't have unhealthy food in my house. Cause I do, I have a 17 year old, so I, I do have some stuff here, but you know, you can find yourself in the kitchen in no time. You know, you're busy working. You can find yourself in your kitchen in no time, just scarfing down things that are not necessarily good for you. All right. So I definitely think, guys, the the filling, things are going to be filling when you eat these nuts. They're going to fill you faster. So it's a great reason for you to, um, to have that. So Michelle says with the pandemic, they're recommending storage of products of potential adverse situations. Yeah. And I know that I know I I know that completely, and and I did that myself. So when the pandemic did hit and things were tight and we had to store foods, I certainly went out and I certainly got canned canned foods, and I definitely stored them. But I also bought you know the can the 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 beans that you can soak overnight, right? So beans, like I said, are great source of protein. So I have all the different types of maybe about. I have about 30 canisters because now I converted from keeping them in the plastic bag. <laughs> you know what you buy them in the store to come in that plastic bag. I bought all these can. I invested some money. I'll show you guys next time we go in my kitchen. Um, I invested in these canisters. And so I have all these canisters of dry beans, lentils, split peas. That's what I do. And I still have some cans that are there for emergency purposes. So if you can afford to get the dry beans, first of all, they're cheaper in the long run. They are a lot cheaper. Um, and someone who's around is listening to me and decided to bring me my canister so I can show you guys. <laughs> so I just grabbed this out of the clear blue sky, guys. <laughs> I need to get off here. So this is my canister. This is one of my canister. This is some of my cashews. All right, guys. So you get to be in my business a little bit. So this is my canister of um, cashews. These are actually the cashews that are salted. So um, I keep them in a smaller container, all right? So not too much of this, right? If you have high blood pressure or any kind of illness, you don't want to be dealing with salt, right? So yeah, canisters like these are great. I'm not going to tell you how much I'm going to pay for them. <laughs> but like I said, I invested and I think, I'll be honest, I think it was about $200 for about, I think, 20 or so. So maybe like $7 and $10 depend on the size. All right, you're all in my business. <laughs> but yeah, because of the pandemic, we were told to like buy food and store it. But you can buy the um, you can buy the option, like I said, that are that are um he didn't bring me the beans, he brought me the cashews, but I have beans in these canisters, right? That are dry. All right. So um, yeah, exactly, Michelle. 
So yeah, Jennifer says, great information. I'm glad that you guys like it. Thank you, great information. I did screenshots. Okay, yeah, and if you need me to send you this information, guys, you can go to my website and just send me an email. Awesome, Michelle. You can just go to my website and send me an email. I have a link on my website. Um, if you cannot get me on the website because I check my emails every day, but if you don't get me there, you can also go to my Facebook page. A lot of people email me through Facebook, um, private message, right? So you can, you can do that. So you can follow me on my social media platforms. All of my social media platforms are my temple wellness. So Facebook, Instagram, follow me there and send me a message and be like, Hey Deb, you know, please send me X, Y, Z. All right. And I'll, I'll do that. I've helped out a lot of people. Um, no charge when it comes to things like these, it's no problem. So you just have to link me up. Let me know what I can help you with. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Again, I want you to share this video for those of you, especially who say that it was good and you liked it, share it with others because we want to make sure that we're eating right. And all of our bites are going to be good for our bodies. All right, guys. So um, yeah, just make sure that you're being mindful of the foods that you're eating and that you're taking good care of yourselves because we want you to live long, healthy lives. All right. And with that being said, I'm going to jump off. I will talk to you all later. Um, last comment. And I'm really leaving good idea for the, uh, canister as I've been, I have beans for sprouting. I know you were into sprouting. That's really cool. If you, we, maybe we'll talk about sprouting, um, guys. Oh, before I leave, one of the things I'd like to start doing is to bring um, guests on my show. So I'm going to be trying to secure some guests to talk to us about different topics, but I also would love some of my audience to come on my show. So Sophia, I don't know if you want to come and talk about sprouting, but you can let me know. Um, if you want to come on with me, I can do a, a, a show where we have guests come on and we just will split screens and you'll come up and we'll talk together. Um, I would love to do that. So if you're interested in being on my show and just talking with me, whether it be about sprouting, like Sophia's talking about here or any topic related to, you know, food and stuff like that, wellness, nutrition, anything in that field, let me know. And if you are an expert in a particular area as well, in wellness, nutrition, or or any other field, please let me know. I would love to have you on. Sophia, if you want to come on, just send me a message and I'd love to have you on one of my future shows. Um, Bishop P, uh, great information. Looking forward to hearing more, of course. I'll be here next Monday, guys. So check me out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next week, um, what topic I'll do. I focused last week on kidney, this week on nutrition because of the particular month that we're in. Um, and of course, Camille, thank you for motivating our community. That's why I'm here. I'm excited um, that Jamaicans.com provide this opportunity for me to come out and really chat to up <laughs> on nutrition. Um, Xavier, big up yourself. Um, really appreciate this opportunity. All right, guys. So I will talk to y'all later. Sophia says, sound good. So you guys might be seeing me and Sophia linking up on here, chatting it up about sprouting or whatever else. All right, y'all. On a walk, good. And make sure you guys are eating your veggies. Oh, and by the way, when you go to my website, um, I'm going to do a little plug because I really do plugs, but I'm a plug right now. When you go to my website, I'm selling these hats. I don't have one near me, but if you want to get a My Temple Wellness hat, go to my website. They're $25 and $28. Go check them out. Maybe next time I'll wear one, show you guys. All right. So on that note, I'm going to exit. Eat the veggies and walk good. All right, guys. Bye. See y'all later. Love you.